hello. <laughs> Just casually opening my bathroom cabinet to have a camera inside filming me. So, I had the sudden urge to film a video today, and that's because I have finally received my new sunscreen. It's a sunscreen that I've actually tried before. So this is the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Version. So I'm gonna open it up. And I thought while we were here opening this, I would give you, oh, <laughs> I almost dropped it. Uh, I thought since we were here, I would give you all of my impressions on all of the sunscreens that I currently have in this bathroom cabinet. So this is actually a video that I filmed a while back and then I never got around to editing and I think I lost the footage somewhere along the way. It's been a while since I've tested some of these. So yeah, they're just gonna be like very quick reviews, whether or not I buy them again, stuff like that. So without further ado, let's talk about sunscreens. So I'm gonna go um, and talk about the ones that I don't like as much first. Uh, let's talk about this one. So this is the Perlis Blue Lotus Essential Daily Moisturizer with SPF. Um, so this is SPF 30 and unfortunately this does not work for me at all. Honestly, I got this such a long time ago and I'm, I can't even remember where I got it from. I think I got it when I went to like the, the Ipsy show one time where they're giving out like free samples or like free products if you attended the show. But the biggest thing about this is I remember is that made my face sting like crazy. There's something in it that my skin does not react well to. And not only that, but it has a very like traditional like sunscreen scent, which I oh, I hate. It I mean, I don't hate it, but it's very like it's very like sunblocky. And I'm trying to like rub it into my skin right now and it does take a little bit of time to absorb. So the active ingredients in this one is avobenzone, homo salate, octanoxate octosalate and oxybenzone and recently well not like that recent but i think like a year or two ago there is a sunscreen ingredient i believe it's a chemical sunscreen ingredient that has been found to be bad for coral reefs so let me see what that is okay so for my quick google it turns out it's oxybenzone and octanoxate um, so that is unfortunately in both of these. So this would not be, um, good to use if you are on vacation in Hawaii or somewhere where there are coral reefs and you don't want it to get into the water. The second sunscreen I have, which this is pretty much an empty bottle, um, this is the Crave Beauty Beach Shield and it has SPF 50, I believe. This is the repackaged version for the US. I believe in like the Korean market, it has, um, it has a different name, maybe. I think it's called Beat the Sun, actually. Um, but here in the US, it's called the Beat Shield because it does contain some sunscreen ingredients that are not um, that are not approved by the FDA, and so they can't really market it as a sunscreen. But it is a sunscreen. I found this to be like it's not bad. Um, this is a chemical sunscreen, and it doesn't. I can't see what like ingredients are in here for like the active ingredients. So I guess I'll just, I'll put them up here somewhere, um, what the actual active ingredients of the sunscreen are. But this is just kind of like, it was nice. It was slightly mattifying from what I remember. And then I'm trying to like squeeze some out. Maybe there's just a little bit in here. This is a very empty bottle. There's not really like, there's like a slight scent to it, but it's not like fragranced. It's just kind of like the smell of the ingredients in the sunscreen. Um, I remember feeling that it was kind of pricey for the sunscreen because it does feel, it feels like a smaller tube. This is 50 milliliters. This one's 60 milliliters. So it's kind of like, it's kind of expensive. It's $20. Ordering from Crave Beauty for me is a little bit like, I don't order from them often and when I do I want to kind of order in batches because I want to I want to not pay for shipping so to get free shipping you want to pay like $40 so you have to order more products because their products aren't like expensive but they're not cheap either and I would I, I would just say like I didn't feel like I loved the sunscreen enough to really buy it again um, I believe it's around $20 it wasn't a bad skin screen. I think it is more suited for people with oily skin because it was slightly mattifying. Um, and 
like I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. So another product I have, another sunscreen I have that didn't work out for me is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50. Um, this was such a disappointment actually. So the weird thing is, is I used to use like an older formulation of this and I loved it. It was like one of the first, um, one of the first like Asian sunscreens I tried and I was just like blown away by like the consistency, how it felt so light on the skin and like you really didn't feel it at all compared to like American sunscreens, which tend to be a little bit heavier. Um, they usually have that sunscreen smell and you just, you just feel it on the skin. It, this one just blew me away, but unfortunately, the newer formulation, it's it's not for me. I find my skin does not like it. It finds it very drying. So I bar I barely used any of the sunscreen actually. So this has like a very like lightweight gel consistency, and it blends in. It blends in so beautifully. No white cast whatsoever. Um, it's a chemical sunscreen, of course. The thing is, it's just there's too much alcohol in here and my skin finds it more drying. I believe in the older formulation there was less alcohol because like the smell as well, like the fragrance um, was less potent and it didn't smell as alcoholy, if that makes sense. Um, I remember being so excited when I went to Japan to see this in stock. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll stock up because I know that I like the sunscreen. So I think I got like two. Um, bottles and then it turns out like this is the newer formulation and my skin does not enjoy it at all so can't use it uh, I keep it around to use as a body sunscreen I really should use it more now since I've been in the garden more so I need to remember to like apply it when I go out another sunscreen I have this is the a pure a pure I'm not really sure how to say it but this is the a pure metacasticide sun cream SPF 39 PA plus plus and I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I got it on the recommendation of another YouTuber by the name of Ivan Lam, and he really likes this sunscreen, or at least he did in the videos that I watched. The problem with this sunscreen for me is that over time, it made my skin feel sensitive. So this does contain citrus oil in here, and citrus peel oil, um, my skin isn't exactly like allergic to a lot of like essential oils, but I'm not a huge fan of having essential oils in my products. And I think citrus peel oil sometimes can make my skin more sensitive. So I was using this for a couple weeks. I thought it was all right. Um, and then like I started noticing that my skin was getting more and more sensitive and it would like start to tingle when I would just apply something as simple as a moisturizing essence or a moisturizing toner and I thought that was really weird and this was the only new product that I had in my skincare routine at the time so I stopped using it and lo and behold the tingling went away so this does make my skin sensitive and I'm pretty sure it's because of the citrus peel oil so this unfortunately did not work out for me and also um it takes a while to work into the skin so I'm just gonna put some on so maybe you guys can see. So it comes out nice and thick and white, and I, I'm not sure, but I don't believe this is a chemical sunscreen. I think it is a mineral sunscreen, but yeah, it definitely has kind of like a white cast, and you have to like really work it into the skin. And if it's kind of humid, or if you're slightly sweaty, like this is not, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work that well. Um, but texture-wise, it's like, it's not bad. Um, I think it mostly absorbs into the skin. It doesn't like feel heavy on the skin or sit on the skin too much. Um, and yeah, like you can see that it's pretty much all gone, but I was like really, I'm really pale. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty pale. And you see like when I was initially rubbing it on, it was like very white. So you really have to like work it into your skin. I thought this video would be super quick, but it's turning out to just be an average length video. I guess this is quick for me because most of my videos are like 20 minutes long and this one's I don't know, 15? So another sunscreen I have with me is the Purito Centella Green Safe Sun, and this is the scented version. This was a mistake. <laughs> I did not read like reviews for this properly, and nobody really mentioned it, but there is lavender oil in here, and a lot of it, and it's a strong scent, like incredibly strong. So again, I prefer to stay away from stuff that has essential oil in it because um, I feel like at one point I had quite a few products that had essential oil in it and um, I 
believe it made my skin more sensitive and more acne prone. So it just, my skin became more reactive and that's why I try to stay away from it now. I don't, I think in small quantities, like if you don't have that many products that have essential oil in it, it's not that bad for you, or at least it's not that bad for me, but I do prefer to stay away from it while my camera is having a hard time with its autofocus. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't like the scent, uh, but it is an incredibly lovely formula. Like it feels like just a really light moisturizer and it just absorbs so well into the skin. Sorry, I realized that I was, my hands were not even on camera when I was showing that. So let me try that again. I love the scent of lavender, but I just felt like this was a little too overpowering on the face. Um, I like like lavender hand soaps and stuff, but I don't know, as like a face sunscreen, I felt like this was a bit much. So. I don't really think you would have too much issue with white cast on this, if at all. And I believe this one is also a chemical sunscreen. So it feels really light on the skin. It blends really well. Um, and that is exactly why I got this one, which is also the Centella Green level uh, sunscreen, except this is the unscented version. So if you look closely, <laughs> this is the difference of packaging. I recently made a mistake uh, when I was ordering this one and I accidentally bought the scented version. So I now have two bottles of the scented version. Fortunately, my sister needs sunscreen and she doesn't have any issues with this one. So she asked if she could just have it and I was like, go for it because I'm not really going to use it. I'm only going to use it as like a body sunscreen, but I really like the unscented version. It feels just about the same, I would say. I don't have that much to say about the sunscreen that I haven't already said about that previous one. It blends well on the skin. It sits nicely on the skin. Like you don't feel it. It's not super heavy. It feels like just another layer of very light moisturizer, which I really appreciate from the sunscreen. So that's actually kind of what I look for in my sunscreens a lot of the time is for it to just kind of sit on the skin well, not have any like blending issues and for it to obviously not make my face break out. This one I'm pretty much out of, and this is the Dear Claire's uh, Soft Air UV Essence. And I've gone through, I think, like two bottles of this now. I really like the sunscreen. This is also a chemical sunscreen. This is also a chemical sunscreen. The interesting thing about this one is that it also contains citrus peel oil. Um, and it doesn't do the same thing to my face that the AP one does. Like, I never feel that my skin is getting sensitive or tingly or irritated from the sunscreen because I've gone through so many bottles of this and I've had no reaction. So kind of interesting. Maybe they have different concentrations of citrus peel oil and this one has more and my skin's more reactive to that. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I stand by the sunscreen and I like it a lot. Um, I find that the sunscreen's hard to find from retailers here in the U.S probably because what's in here is not like FDA approved. A lot of other countries in Asia and Europe, I would say, are more ahead of the curve in approving new sunscreen ingredients. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's why this one is harder to find from retailers here, just because like FDA regulations, stuff like that. So I usually order this one from Yes Style, And that's pretty much it for all of my sunscreens. This has actually turned out to be a 20 minute video right now. I don't know how much I'm gonna end up cutting out, uh, but hopefully this is just like a quick sunscreen review video, which is what I completely intended. I wanna be able to have videos that are like around 10 minutes. Those are still kind of long. I wouldn't say they're quick, but I have a tendency to talk a lot. So my videos always end up super long. But yeah, that's pretty much all it for now. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Minnie, you walked into the room. I couldn't help but smile at you. Noticing things I never did before. Kept it to myself cause I wasn't sure.